A new museum in New York has become what is believed to be the world's only permanent exhibit regarding China's crackdown on the Tiananmen Square protests in 1989. A bloodstained shirt, photos, detailed news articles from the time are on display for visitors to this small office space on 6th Avenue. It's the sole display of artifacts from the time left after authorities in Hong Kong pressured a June 4th museum there to close two years ago. Here we have the uh, flags, the tent, uh, and the flyers uh, from uh, 1989. Zhou Feng Shua is a survivor of the Tiananmen Square crackdown who helped plan the New York Museum. He was placed fifth on the Beijing police's most wanted list after soldiers opened fire on crowds on June 4th and crushed demonstrations that were calling for democracy, greater freedoms, and government accountability. China never released a full death toll of those killed in 1989, but activists say it could be in the thousands. Cho says that the items kept in the museum preserve memories of a different time in China. This is from police. Here it says, Beijing police respects the students on Tiananmen Square. Uh, yeah. For people today, uh, this is unbelievable. Yeah. There was a period like this, and that's why this is so important. Uh, this can't be changed you know, by the government, like a uh, case stroke. Uh, this is real. Authentic. Beijing has increased censorship of the Tiananmen events in recent years. Authorities raided the June 4th museum in Hong Kong and accused the group behind it of being foreign agents. Universities there took down Tiananmen monuments. Large-scale vigils for June 4th in Hong Kong have also been banned since 2020. And there's no sign one will be attempted this year. Activists outside of China continue to hold memorials. Wang Dan, the former student leader who also helped establish the New York Museum, says he's compelled to fight against the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, from erasing history. Don't forgive, don't give up. That's my message for, for many Chinese people. And uh, for Western people, they think you must know the, the true face of CCP. They govern the country just by violence, by lies. That's the true face of CCP.